The date is December 3rd, 2020. My brothers and I are driving home from swim practice on a cold winter night. Well, it wasn't exactly night yet. It was really only around 5.40 p.m. But honestly, it gets so dark so early that time of year, it genuinely seemed like it was midnight outside. There was thankfully no snow on the ground yet, but trust me, it was still freezing cold outside. I am the one that's always driving, and one of my brothers is always on Pokemon Go in the passenger seat. Normally, he's just catching as many Pokemon as he possibly can and shiny checking, you know, the cool stuff. Occasionally, there will be some uncommon spawns like Grovile, but nothing too crazy. Until this one fateful night. As we are driving home, my brother out of nowhere yells out, Oh my god, what the heck is that? as he looks down on his phone to see the silhouette of an unknown Pokemon on the nearby. As I roll up to a stop sign, I slowly look over at his phone and instantly am in disbelief. It's a Slay King! I yell out. All three of us are ecstatic. A wild Slay King! None of us had ever seen that cool or rare of a spawn before in all four years we had been playing the game. The rarest spawn we had probably seen up until that point was either a Charizard or Typhlosion. But this, this was a Slay King! One of the highest CP Pokemon in the game! Thankfully, it was at a stop in the same direction we were headed, so I did not have to turn the car around. I drove over to this stop as fast as I could, legally, I should add, in order to get there before it despawned. The next thing I know, we are only a block away from the stop, and my brother yells out, IT SAYS IT RAN! So I raced over to that stop as fast as I possibly could. Typically, if the nearby says a Pokemon ran, it will still remain there for a little bit. It might be up to a minute, but I'm not exactly positive on that. And even if that is the case, I don't think there's any guarantee that it will remain there after the nearby list even says the Pokemon ran away in the first place. I quickly pull up to the park this stop was at, throw the car in park, and we all hop out and go running out as fast as we possibly could. And at first, there was nothing. We thought it despawned. But then next thing we know, BAM! Slay King spawns in, and we were hyped. I click on this behemoth of a Pokemon, expecting it to be like 160 CP, something right around the likes of that, because typically, if you even get lucky enough to encounter a rare wild spawn in Pokemon Go, it'll be like a super low CP. But this was different. It had question marks for the CP. I hadn't seen that since the first year the game came out. My brothers and I are freaking out as we all feed this thing some golden raspberries and begin to throw ultra balls at it. The Slate King broke out of the first ball I threw, then the second, and then the third. I was shaking, not just because my hands were freezing and it was also freezing cold outside, but because of how excited and nervous I was. Then, after the fourth golden raspberry I fed that Slay King and the fourth Ultra Ball I threw, I finally caught it. And my brothers caught theirs as well. All three of us had logged this amazing new Pokemon into our Pokedexes, but we still had no idea what CP it was. Then, after the new Pokedex entry animation slowly finished, the CP was revealed. 3,916 CP, which at the time was all of our highest CP Pokemon. We were so hyped. Then we got back into the car and drove home in absolute disbelief and full of excitement. That was by far the best and craziest moment any of us had experienced while playing Pokemon Go. I mean, we caught a wild Slay King! Now, there are a couple of things I need to clarify real quick before we get into the main point of this video. This spawn was not part of some special event where wild Slay Kings had boosted odds of spawning in the wild like they did during the Pokemon TCG event in Pokemon Go during the summer of 2020. This was a completely normal wild encounter, which leads me to make the claim that at the time, this might have been the highest CP wild spawn of all time. I know that may sound crazy, but I have scoured the internet searching for someone who had encountered a wild Pokemon with a higher CP at that time that was not part of an event, and I could not find 
anything. I would assume since then, a higher CP Pokemon has spawned in the wild, most definitely during an event, and probably just a normal spawn as well, although I believe only Slate King has the possibility of being that high of a CP in the wild. If any of you watching have encountered something higher, please let me know in the comment section down below. And that is all for the video today. I hope you all enjoyed this story of my encounter with what at the time was the highest CP wild spawn of all time in Pokemon Go. Be sure to like and subscribe and this is the Poka Playa signing out.